knife sharpeners. So, which is the best, which is not, um, which is the cheapest, which is the most expensive, which is the best for your knives? Can I use it on any knife? Uh, you know what? I'm about to explain this to you. My doggy next door is barking. All right, so this one here is a very inexpensive. Just, it's got a coarse and a fine side. So field sharpener, pocket sharpers. Uh, this is a CHF uh, 57. Yeah, 57. So uh, I've used it quite a bit. It's, it's lost its edge, but because uh, it's, it's too small. Of course, to put an edge on it and then fine to refine it, make it a little bit sharper. Use it, right? So would I use this on one of my uh, pretty knives over here? No, will not. Um, then this uh, AccuShark, it's, you found this in the kitchen area like Walmart or Target or... Man, they're pretty good field sharpeners. They work, and they do shave off a lot of metal because these are carbide tips. Really, really strong. Can remove a lot of metal. And they're one degree. They're, I believe they're 25. They're like a 25 degree bend. They work. They're good for uh, inexperienced people. Uh, like when I first started sharpening knives, I would grab this and I would just sharpen. And it would cut my lemon, limes, tomatoes, steak, knives, all that good stuff. Um, just... No one is so cheapy knives from, I mean, they're, you know, $20 knives at most. I think they're $14. Anyways, you know, soft metal like this, very flexible, not, nothing too fancy. Just grab, and I'm not going to do it, but uh, just give it a give it a couple swipes, and it would work. But you just take a lot of metal off, right? Um, they're great. They're, they're, they're awesome to use out in the field or just if you're not very good at using them. Now, this is a really good system to work sharp. It goes from 30 degrees fine tuning all the way down to 15 degrees so you can really get a fine edge or a working edge um it's got uh, 325 grit let me look at this uh a 320 a 600 and then um ceramic so it's kind of like this one here with the double sides but you can do like you can grab your knife and uh you can grab your field knife or your kitchen knife or whatever and kind of peel this open. All right. Why are you being stubborn? Because I didn't use the other day. That's what happened. There it goes. Okay, cool. So it opens up and you close it up. Oh, God. Lock it into place. Cool. So it locks into place. This one, I believe I have it at 25. And you can just sharpen it up. Super simple. You press this little button over here and it spins. I got it the wrong way. And then you just put your little edge on it. Super sharp, very easy. Okay. So this one was about $80. Um, this one's also very easy. Multiple. It's a V-sharp Warthog. You go from 30 to 15. So you got 30, 25, 20, and then 15 is hidden behind the VSH right here. Um, comes with 325 grit and a, uh, a smooth carbide um, ceramic. So you just, I mean, this is easy. You just literally push it down and it'll sharpen the knives. Will I use my fancy knives on this? Yes, I would. And I use on this one too because I control the amount of force on it. It's, it isn't going to take a lot of metal off. I don't need to take a lot of metal off on this because these are very, very thin blades while this is a much thicker blade. So when I grab these two together, there's a difference in the blade size. Let's see. Oh God. All right, cool. So these are great. Now, these are just for pretty quick honing, but you got to know your angle. Um, so if I were to grab this one here and I'm like, all right, cool. And I just start doing this. Well, it's flat. I'm not doing anything. You have to kind of angle it at about 20 degrees. Well, if this hand's doing this and this hand's doing that, or if you're not on a flat level then you're not going to know how to sharpen it. And it's going to vary. You can have a 20 degree angle, but you're going to go 19, 21, 19, 21 until you get really good. Then you can get really, really good with it and set it up. Okay, you got a fine edge and a coarse edge. Coarse edge. Um, it'll and it's convertible.
fits in your pocket, all right? Then, this is the Amazon one. 400 grit on one side, 1,000 grit on the other one. It's got the carbide tip, ceramic, and for skizzers. You can sharpen skizzers with this. It's not bad. It's not a whetstone. It's dry. You can just use it in the field, just like this guy over here. This is uh, about three and a half inches width. Works on pretty much anything you got. You can put an edge on it. I do I do use this at work, and I'll just give myself a little bit of an edge. And then it gives it a working edge, okay? Then you got the Smith's Try Home. This is not bad. This thing will last you forever. I mean, look at the size of that. This is a coarse edge. I mean, this really takes the metal off of your of your knife. Use this whenever if you if, like. If I were to chop in on something and I'd have a, a a curve or a wrinkle or something on here, then I try to force it back over. For that, use a grinder. Then you got your medium edge, which is pretty easily, and then um, you got your stone edge, which is very very smooth. Okay, so. This makes an edge out of it. You can use a strop. And then you have your whetstones. These take a lot of experience on how to do and how to use them properly to get a really, really good edge on your knife. And it's, I would, I'm going to start using these for my fancy knives because I like the, I like the thousand, three thousand, and eight thousand. And then, last but not least, a strop. Just leather. And then like the, the meat side of the leather. So this puts a really, really smooth edge. If you were to grab this under a microscope and look at this here after swiping it on something like this, it's going to be coarse. It's going to be, I mean, you can run your fingernail on it and it's kind of, it, it catches your fingernail. So when you put it on a strop with some rouge, you remove those burrs from the edge. Okay, say you don't have a strop like this. Uh, father once taught me, just grab a piece of cardboard and pull away from it like this, and it takes the burrs away. Uh, this is a very, very bad cardboard. So like uh, your cereal box, just turn the cereal box on the brown side and just take it, and it gives you a little bit cleaner edge when you run your fingernail on it, it doesn't bite bites down here. I need to fix that up. So this is just, these are some of the knife sharpeners that I have that I like, that I use, and I really enjoy using. So in conclusion, which is the best knife sharpener? If you got skills, definitely these. This is really good for your nice knives, okay, for your smiths and all that good stuff. This is for every day kind of deal but grab you a very very cheap dollar 99 knife from like your dollar store or fiberware and practice 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 to you're really good at putting an edge on here where it's really nice and shiny so you can see so you can see the shine on that as this is this will cut some yeah this is very very soft metal though so you will be putting a lot of work into it but it's great because you, you'll definitely use it quite a bit. Okay, and your hand will remember. You'll you'll get a, a muscle memory. Okay, so field, field, kitchen and experience, kitchen experience, field. Definitely at home. Definitely home. You want to take this in the field? That's fine. Just be careful because you will drop it and bend it, and then it'll ruin its shapeness. But Either way, thank you guys for coming out here to my sharpening thing. We got this forge on fire, forge and fire kind of like deal going on around here in this family. So it's pretty cool. Smith Bros. This thing is amazing. It came super sharp out of the box and then I did a bit of fine tuning with it, but uh, it's a really nice knife. Birthday gift. And it's magnetic, super cool. You probably use it as a cutting board, no, I wouldn't. But anywho, thank you guys for coming to my little show here. Be cool.